I said to myself, I have, we have now proved that the hour series works. Uh, but no one has ever done an hour private eye show, although private eye shows are very popular on television. But they're all half hour. Many of them were live. And I said, there's no reason why a private eye show wouldn't work in the hour format. Uh, and so I put together uh, 77 Sunset Strip. This is a part of the game that I was playing at that time. By that time, I was playing a game with Bill Orr called Block That Royalty. <laughs> uh, they, 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 after I came up with Colt 45, Hugh Benson came to my office and said, you know, J.L. Warner suggested Colt 45 as a series a year ago. And I said, really, really, uh, Hugh? Isn't it strange that you waited a full year to do anything about something J.L. Warner said to you? No reply. No reply at all. But so I didn't get, but I lost. I didn't get the royal on that because J.L. Warner came up with that one. Maverick, they actually bought a treatment I wrote at Columbia based on the War of the Coffee King in order to block my royalty. They actually went to Columbia and bought that unmade uh, treatment that I wrote while I was under contract to Columbia. Now I'm doing 77, and I've come up with a story uh, that is my own. They're going to owe me a royalty. And Bill Orr can't afford that because J.L. Warner has lowered, has, has given this edict that there will be no royalties paid. Now, what's he going to do about that? And what he did was to call me and say, Roy, in case we can't sell this, could you expand it a little so it could be made as a 90-minute movie? And I thought, what's he up to? Because by this time, having lost on Maverick and lost on Colt 45, and being sure I was going to win on 77, I was very suspicious. And I couldn't figure it out, but I thought, well, the answer is yes, we could expand it. And I had Marion writing the script. So I called Marion in and told him this whole story about the block, the royalty, and all the rest of it. And I said, I think it's got something to do with that, that they, they want to expand it. But we can expand it, and here's how we do it. And uh, Marion said something that endeared him to me. He says, Roy, don't, don't fight them. It's their wheel, and it's fixed. Anyway. We expanded it. And now, on all the production reports that were coming in that used to say 77 Sunset Strip, they now all said Girl on the Run, which was the name of the story I came up with. The series was 77. This particular story was Girl on the Run. It was made. They took it to the Caribbean and ran it for a week in a theater in the Caribbean as a movie. So the series would be based on the movie and you'd get screwed out of the royalty. That's right. So now they claimed that they had based 77 Sunset Strip on a movie called Girl on the Run. And of course, it was so, <laughs> it was so obviously a, a device to avoid having to pay me a royalty. And uh, I thought, this one I can win. So I called in much later for an arbitration. I lost the arbitration. 